talking about deliverance and freedom. Specifically today, I'm going to talk about pride. You know, as a deliverance minister, I get to see so many different reasons why people end up demonized, why they end up in bondage. And some things are very easily just seen. And today I'm going to talk about pride because Proverbs 29 and 23 says, One's pride will bring him low, but he who is lowly in spirit will obtain honor. Now, did you catch that? That it says that your pride will bring you low? Pride, however, it gives a false perception of being elevated and exalted. And that's exactly what happened with Lucifer when he was the worship uh, leading uh, uh, angel. And he ended up getting cast out of heaven because his pride brought him low. His pride caused him to feel so high, so exalted, so mighty that it actually caused him to be cast down low. In the same way, when we're trying to get set free, pride oftentimes is one of the hardest things to overcome with people because pride is a real thing where we have to be willing to humble ourselves and say, okay, Lord, I'm not all that. I do think I'm all that. I, I do think I have it all together. I do think I have everything I need. Um, I am angry at you. I am resentful at you. And so those are some of the things that the enemy uses to keep people in serious bondage. Jezebel, the spirit of Jezebel, it's all bound up to pride. And so if you want to start getting set free, instead of saying, I know I'm set free from pride, I'm good, it's starting to say, Holy Spirit, reveal to me, is this pride um, in me? And is it keeping me from being free? And not just that, but ask the Lord to show you the power of the pride, the spiritual darkness of the pride. So I've sat in front of people and I could see that pride, those spirits of pride in their, in their, in their flesh, and um, it made deliverance not so fun. But definitely just begin to confess your sin and say, Lord, I realize I'm bound with pride. Set me free today and let me be humble to serve you, Holy.